much better than the brush. Mm -hmm. That's the way you go. The birds. That is the way to go. That's how we did the old house. Can't remember now. I don't think I used the brush. I think I used a roller on it. Tar this, backfill this, fix the drain on the other one real quick. We're on to something different. So I thought we were out of tar, turns out that we had three quarters of a pail in the basement in the corner put away. That's good. Yes, I'm gonna put it right on that board. Sure. Alrighty. That can get buried now. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, you got some on your nose. What's that? You got some tar on your nose. Oh. We gotta set that greenhouse up too soon. Yep. Use it for your uh, bike. Put a tarp over and put the bike in the air. See it there still? Where is it? It's right on the end of your nose. Like underneath and up. Yeah. Oh, I just smeared more on it. I had some on my hand here. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Here. Let no, that's it. good. It'll eventually dry. It's good waterproofing. I'm gonna get the ladder, we're gonna put up the clothesline. Okay. And then we're gonna start pushing this stuff in. Okay. That straight 
Heather? Yep. No, tw no twist in it? Nope. Do you want me to lift this edge up? Would that help? No, it tightens it when you go up. No, I just had my sleeve brought in there. Still straight? Yep. tighter when you lift it up. Yeah, you use this thing to tighten it, right? Yeah, you can tighten it if you want. More than that, baby. How tight you want Oh, lot. It's probably pretty tight, but let me give it a shot. One more, just one more. One more click. Yeah, see that's tight. Now I'll bring up the tractor. I'll start pushing those in.
Heather did this wall. She tarred all this while I was pushing this in over here. Now this is how this turned out here. I have to get rid of some stuff here. We brought that old greenhouse back. I'm going to set that up and put a tarp over it. That's going to be a little grads to park my ATV. Got to get some of these roots cleaned up now that we're... Oh, we got our water primed. The water pump works great. It's primed right back to the... Uh, to the basement but uh, anyways that's how it's looking out here now so we've got everything all primed up here and working this is all nice and level I'm going to rake around here I don't want to kill this little birch tree it's been here since that was one of the that was one of the original trees that was around here when we built this house when we built this house you see in between where that pipe is there this tree used to sit closer to the bedroom patio door the far, far patio door that's how much we moved the house back over that ravine like I say that was all ravine it was a hill and a ravine and we slowly cut that out and sloped it and built the shack here so it's nice having Heather's clothesline back up again she'll be able to use that I'm gonna let that settle a little bit and then I'm going to put some styrofoam out here put some styrofoam against the house a little wee bit and then we are going to bury that with some more clay we're going to get everything right now slopes to the house and i want to get things sloping away from the house basement still really dry we haven't had a whole lot of rain here either though but i think it's going to be good folks i think it'll be good so that is a low spot right there we want to get that fixed and get the clay on there and get some yeast troughs up there and get that all fixed up so we do plan on running the sawmill soon maybe the next week or so uh, that's what's happening here other than that gardens doing great everything's going good uh, yeah we uh, had a little bit of time off we had some things we had to do that we we didn't we didn't record because you know we just it would have been boring a few folks so anyways yeah I mean we did that and now we are uh, good to go again so anyways uh, we shall talk at you maybe tomorrow bye bye all